Hey everybody, it's Tom Barnes for the Chicago scene in the West Town neighborhood right off Augusta in Ashland. Listen, it's been a winter. It's been gross. It's been cold. You can't go anywhere. And uh, they say that having plants in a house can really make you feel happier, brings a little joy to your life. So why not head to a plant salon? Yeah, that's where I'm going to. It's a place that's like an apothecary, but sells plants and they cultivate them from little tiny beady plants and then uh, they give them to you so you can take them home and they could also sell you some body oil, all sorts of things happening at the plant salon. So I'm gonna go inside and talk to my friend Nutka here in a second to see what it's all about. So let's take a look. All right, we're gonna enjoy this for one second just because it's just lovely with spring in the air. I'm at plant salon with Nika, how are you? Hi, welcome to Plant Salon. Thank you very much. This is a place that was something else and during the quarantine, like everything else, kind of had a shift and develop a different strategy of business. So what are we looking at right here? Uh, so Plant Salon is part plant boutique and part apothecary. We're really like a self-care boutique and we wanted to have a curated space that feels really like, you know, welcoming and approachable that people can fall in love and then take a piece of it home with them. So speaking of taking a piece home with them, what are we looking at here? You mentioned earlier that this is kind of a process. What is this process I'm looking at? So this whole section is part of our private collection. We have mature plants that um, give you an idea of what your house plant will turn into in two, three, four, five years. And we generally start out with smaller plants that we sell to the public. Um, I personally do a lot of plant propagation Propagation, okay. Yeah, that's, that's the, <laughs> and that's the process of making a new plant. So some of the plant, like specifically this one right here, mm -hmm. you've taken and you've turned it into something right here, correct? Yeah, that's gonna start growing roots and then I'll have, I think it's about two or three little guys in that cup and I'll have two or three separate plants ready to go. So among the, the plant propagation that you turn into plants that people can buy. What other things that you have going on here in the store? Let's see. Okay. So this is part of our apothecary section. We specialize in natural green botanical products, um, you know, ingredients you can pronounce. All of these are small makers and small companies across the country. Um, and we love self care, both, you know, for the whole family. We have got everything here. Uh, from skin care to bath care to fragrance. To or to the cold brew coffee porter. What What is that? That is popular. I think it's like if you wanted to get coffee as soon as you can on or near your body, that one has been a very popular soap. The smell is just wow. like really like, wow. So you went from, uh, a, you know, a private, you know, appointment only makeup uh, salon to this. Uh, what made you decide, uh, you know what, apothecary, you know, all things encompassing plants, makeup, home beauty? I think maybe the makeup artist from my, my other line of work in me. Um, I enjoy, you know, having to go find products, but I love the idea of being able to find them all in one place. Mm -hmm. um, There's two of my favorite things together. Let me show you. This yep. is our True Hue candle collection. These are by far our most popular candles in our shop. Um, what's great about them is they really lend themselves to that garden, ferny, woodsy smell. They're not just like, you know, light floral notes. It really makes you feel like you're like laying on a forest floor. Oh, that's fantastic. Just with, especially with being inside all the time and in the winter, totally. being, making you feel like you're outside somewhere is lovely, right? Yeah, no, yeah. that's, I mean, we get a lot of that. People who are like, how can I make a jungle in my house? And so aside from getting the big plants, we want to help, you know, all the aspects, the smells, the sights, everything. What else, what other fun things do you have in here that you can show me real oh, quick? I have to show you our most popular plant by far. The most popular plant, all right. This so is, these are the ones that are for sale, right? These are for sale, totally. Oh, we tend to sell more of the, the smaller guys, um, but these are our most popular ones. These are called snake plants, uh, or these, right here. these are called snake plants. They, sometimes they were called mother-in-law's tongue or uh, sansevieria, and these are the urban dweller's best friend because these are like impossible to kill. Some people might argue with that, but they are really, really hard to kill. And they come, we, because we live in the city, I wanted to make sure I carried a variety of them so that people that have limited plant space and light and resources could still feel like they're making, um, you know, a garden in their house. And I noticed that over here that you just have some 
tools for around the house for either cooking utensils or just uh, fun things like what do you what would people be using the lava rock for so the lava everything here mm -hmm. is actually either like plant or terrarium oriented these are Got all it. tools you'd use around your see it shows you what i know <laughs> so look if you wanted to mix plant food and you have a really deep watering can Look at that. Yeah, that's it's almost like a stir if you were mixing a cocktail. Well, you know, well, the plants need their own yep, cocktail. Yeah, for sure. So there's that thing. For lava rock, you can use this as a decorative rock on the cover, uh, the, the surface of your soil. Mm -hmm. You could use it to make a pebble tray under your plant to raise humidity. Sure. We also use them as oil diffusers. You rinse them off, let them dry, and then you put a few drops of your favorite essential oil, and you've got a, you know, low-tech oil diffuser. And you have everything, I mean, I'm noticing as we're walking around the store here, you got some cards there. Are these more plants for sale over here? Everything outside of the cabinets is pretty much for sale. One of the things we're Let's known for is because we want to make this indoor jungle vibe is going up high. So we sell lots of plant hangers and macrame and things, but the plants that go in them are awesome. So this is an epithetic cactus. An epithetic cactus? An epithetic cactus. Okay. And what's neat about it is they tend to grow up on tree branches. Um, they don't need to be watered so often. They tend to do really well in our drier Chicago homes. Mm -hmm. So we have them up high on display, really mature, yeah. you know, specimens to show. But then if you like that, you can take it home and recreate it. So how did you get from like uh, just doing makeup to then knowing all about these plants? Like, tell me that story. Like, did you have to, is it just a, you know, a natural obsession with it over the years that you decided, you know what, I can sell these because I know what I'm talking obsession. about. <laughs> it is an obsession. It totally looks like an obsession, right? Um, I in a good way, not a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clarify. <laughs> but I think um, I was one of those people that like always had house plants. When I moved down on my own, I got three ficus trees and was humbled by them immediately um, and I've always collected house plants and enjoyed the experimentation and the learning from them all right you got one more hidden gem for me what do you have for me so some of our favorites we do a lot of gift boxes and sets and people are always asking them like okay I want to make something for my sister my friend what can I put in there that's gonna blow her away and one of our favorites is our Benjamin soap body oils these feel amazing body oil huh? body oil What's yeah. body oil it's an it's kind of like a lighter weight oil you put on right after getting out of a shower or a bath and then we also do our Stella and company face masks so if you want to give someone a spa night but they can't leave their house <laughs> it's a great way to kind of make a little gift thing for them and they feel like they've been to the spa but it all came to them Fantastic. What are the best ways for people to, I'm, I'm assuming you're open uh, during the week where people can come in. Why don't you just give me the hours real quick? So we're open Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 6. And then we are available at plantsalon.com 24-7. Do you have any social media handles that you want people to tag you guys in, oh, especially if you're taking pictures of your uh, lovely plants here? We love when people tag us. So we are Plant Salon Chicago on Instagram. And I try to actually post more of the projects that we work on behind the scenes there also. Ah, very cool. Thank you for uh, showing me around. I appreciate it. And it's just a lovely vibe in this space because, I mean, you can't go wrong with all these lovely plants and just making you feel just joy, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.